guys, today I'm going to show you how we create a contact in Zero. So first of all, we click on contacts and then all contacts and wait for that to load. And basically what we're doing with a contact here is we're creating a contact for either sales or purchases. So instead of creating a customer contact and a supplier contact like some historic accounting softwares do, Zero just says we'll just create a general contact and then we'll either decide whether it's a supplier or a customer based on whether you invoice it or you get bills to that contact. So you can see here we've got two different groupings, customers and suppliers, and zeros put them in those two groups, like we were saying, depending on whether we had a sales invoice or we bought something off them in the purchase invoice. So what we do is click add a contact there. And then as you can see here, what we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to give an example here. Uh, we're gonna we use iCount Beans as the contact. So what we do is we put the company name in the top there, then we might put a contact person there, and we say, okay, Michael Tedman, and we put an email. So at iCountBeans.com.au. We may also add another contact in here, which may be administration, so my admin, and then we might put admin at iCountBeans. .com.au and then of course what we can do if we want to have admin included in emails we can tick that then a really nice function here is the search function so you can see here we've got an address for us for our account beans here in Google at Judith Ab. so what we can do here we can just go ahead and paste that into this find button and the beautiful thing about this it's actually linked to white pages so all you need to do is put it in the find address and it pre-fills and then if the postal address is the same, you can just click same as postal. And then from Google as well, beautiful thing is you can just get our phone number and you can put that straight in here. You can also put the website if you like, like that. Copy that across and you can put that in there as well. And down the bottom here, you can add their default accounts. Usually don't worry about that. Chuck in the ABN and put their bank details in there. And then a very important thing here that is quite unique is this zero key. Now, if you've got another contact that you do business with that has zero, you can get their zero information here or their zero key, put that into their contact card, and then when you send an invoice to them, it automatically pops into their accounts payable or accounts receivable, depending on the way it works, um, yeah, for, for their file. So for example, if I'm invoicing a customer for accounting services, it will automatically, our invoice for accounting will automatically appear in their zero file, which is a nice little feature. That's called the zero network key. So once you've done the contact, you just click save. And then that will save the information into the contacts field in zero, which is really great. So what we do then, get rid of those tabs. And as you can see now, we've got a new contact. We've got iCount Beans, we've got a contact person, a mobile, and a pinned map in Google, which is really good quality. You can easily find that. And the beautiful thing about Xero is because it's on cloud, you may be driving and you need to find an address, and it's as easy as just going to your contacts in Xero, and you can have their addresses all filled out. You can also so see a history of notes here in the show history. And this is a great way that you can add comments about your contact, as well as you can add files. So if you had some contracts or any other information that related to a particular contact you're dealing with, you can put them in here. And it's a really good file saving and CRM system. So now if we kick back to all contacts, we can easily find iCount Beans that we've just created by doing a simple search function. Just use this search bar, type the first couple of letters, click enter, and then it will then search and pop up. And there you go, there's iCount Beans. And you can then click on that and invoice them. So there you go, guys. That's how you create a contact in Xero. Um, hope that's been very helpful and we look forward to speaking with you soon. Bye-bye.